So here are the results after using the newest block strap fast flags, along with some powerful tweaks for Roblox. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the latest block strap fast flags for 2025 that actually work to boost FPS, fix lag, and lower your ping, making Roblox run smoother and more responsive than ever. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to help Roblox run smoother. In this step, we are going to completely disable a hidden Windows feature called power throttling. This feature is designed to save energy by slowing down your CPU when it thinks full performance isn't needed. To start, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the run box. This is a quick way to directly open system settings. In the box, type gpdit.msc and press enter. This will open the local group policy editor, which allows you to make advanced changes to Windows settings that normally stay hidden. On the left-hand side of the editor, carefully navigate through the folders by going to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Once you are inside the System folder, scroll down until you find Power Management and click on it. On the right side, locate Power Throttling Settings and double-click it. Next, double-click the option called Turn Off Power Throttling. A new window will appear where you need to select Enabled. After that, click Apply and then OK to save the setting. From now on, your CPU will never be slowed down by Windows and it will always run at maximum speed. Step 2. Make Roblox use CPU. Better with Run with Affinity tool. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we will make sure Roblox uses all of your CPU's power by setting it up with the Run with Affinity tool. Normally, Roblox may not always use every CPU thread, which means part of your processor power stays unused. First, open the Run with Affinity tool. Once it is open, go to the Affinity tab, then click on the three dots plus button to browse for a file. From there, locate and select Roblox Player Launcher XE, which is usually found inside your App Data Local Roblox folder. After selecting the file, look for the section called Set Affinity. Here you will see numbers representing your CPU threads. Choose the highest number available. This means Roblox will be able to use every CPU thread your system has. Now, in the shortcut name box, type something like High Performance Roblox so you can recognize it easily later. Under the Run option, choose Maximized, which will make Roblox start in full screen and give the best performance right away. Once everything is set, Click Create Shortcut, and this new shortcut will appear on your desktop. From now on, you should always launch Roblox using this shortcut, because it ensures Roblox always has access to your CPU's full power. You can also choose Run Program inside the tool to instantly start Roblox with these settings. Step 3. Use Newest Block Strap. Fast Flags to Boost Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we are going to use a tool called Block Strap to make Roblox run smoother and faster by applying special settings called Fast Flags. With the newest Fast Flags, you'll notice better FPS, smoother frames, and reduced lag while playing. The first step is to go to the FPS Boost Pack and download the file called Block Strap Launcher. Once the download finishes, install it just like any other program on your computer. After installation, open the Windows search bar, type Block Strap, and open it. Inside the block strap window, click on Configure Settings, and then navigate to the tab called Engine Fast Flag Settings. Scroll all the way down until you see the Fast Flag section. You will see a checkbox that says, I know what I'm doing. Click that, and then click Add New. Now go back to the Boost Pack folder and open the text file that came with it. This file contains different graphics presets that are already optimized. The one named Newest Fast Flag Graphics for FPS is the best option if your main goal is to get the maximum FPS boost. If your main priority is lower ping, then the preset called Newest Zero Ping Fast Flag Graphics is the better choice. In this guide, I am using the newest Fast Flags for FPS, and I recommend you do the same unless your PC is extremely low end. Copy all the text from that file and paste it into the Fast Flags area inside Block Strap, then click OK. If any confirmation windows pop up, just click Yes. Once you are finished, save your settings, close Block Strap, and then launch any Roblox game. After this, you will immediately notice smoother gameplay, more stable FPS, and an overall performance boost that makes Roblox much easier to play. 
In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Use Throttle Stop to improve CPU speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. For this step, we are going to use a free tool called Throttle Stop, which helps prevent Windows from slowing down your CPU while gaming. From your FPS Boost Pack, open the Throttle Stop folder and run the file called throttlestop.exe. When it opens, you will see different modes such as performance, game, internet, and battery. For Roblox, you should select Game Mode, which is designed for gaming performance. After that, tick the box labeled High Performance to unlock your CPU's full speed. Leave the more advanced settings like Clock Mode and Speed Shift alone unless you know exactly what they do. You will also see an option called Disable Turbo. If you tick this box, it helps keep your CPU cooler while still running fast, which can be useful for laptops or PCs that overheat easily. Once you've set everything, click Turn On, then click Save to make sure the settings stay active. From now on, keep Throttle Stop running in the background while you play Roblox. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to improve communication between hardware. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we will improve how your GPU and CPU communicate with Windows by using a lightweight tool called MI Utility V3. To do this, open MSI Utility V3 from your FPS Boost Pack. Once the program is open, you will see a list of hardware devices connected to your computer. Carefully look for your graphics card in the list. This could be labeled as NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel depending on what GPU you have. Once you've found it, check the MSI box next to it. After that, change the interrupt priority to high, which tells Windows to handle GPU-related tasks with the highest priority. If your system also has Intel integrated graphics in addition to your main GPU, you should repeat the same process for that device as well. After making these changes, click Apply, and then close the tool. This simple tweak changes how Windows manages GPU communication, and it ensures that your graphics card gets more attention from your system. Step 6. Optimizing Windows for Roblox with Ultimate Windows Tweaker. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Another important step for boosting Roblox performance is to optimize your Windows settings using a free program called Ultimate Windows Tweaker. This tool lets you adjust hidden Windows options that normally take a lot of time to find manually. First, open Ultimate Windows Tweaker and go to the Performance tab. Here, you'll find recommended tweaks like disabling unnecessary startup programs, turning on automatic restart after crashes, and turning off heavy visual effects such as smooth scrolling or window animations. These visual effects may look nice, but they consume system resources, and turning them off gives more CPU and memory power to Roblox. You can also go deeper by disabling Windows services that you don't need. For example, if you don't use a touchscreen, you can disable the tablet input service. If you use a third-party antivirus instead of the built-in one, you can turn off the Windows Security Center. You can even disable the prefetch service, which loads unnecessary temporary files that slow down your system. By disabling services like these, you free up valuable system resources that Roblox can use instead. Now, go to the Additional section in Ultimate Windows Tweaker and open Network Tweaks. Here, you can enable the onboard network adapter processor, which makes your internet connection respond faster. You can also disable background features like Recent Shares, Default Admin Share, and Network Discovery, all of which create extra background activity. After making these changes, click Apply Tweaks and then restart your PC. 
When your computer starts up again, all the tweaks will be active, and you'll notice Roblox running faster, smoother, and more stable than before. Step 7. Disable useless startup apps for faster boot and gameplay. In this final step, we'll make sure that useless startup apps don't slow down your computer. Many programs such as Spotify, Discord, or Adobe launch automatically when you start your PC. To do this, right-click your taskbar and select Task Manager. Once Task Manager is open, go to the Startup tab. Here you'll see a full list of apps that automatically launch when your PC boots. Carefully go through this list and look for apps that you don't really need to start automatically. Right-click on each unnecessary app, like Spotify, Discord, or Adobe programs, and then click Disable. Be careful to only disable programs that you recognize and know are safe to stop. Never disable something you don't understand. Once you've disabled the unnecessary startup apps, restart your PC to apply the changes. From now on, your computer will boot up faster and run with fewer background tasks. This means Roblox will start quicker, load smoother, and perform better overall.